In this video, we are going to set up Wi-Fi Pumpkin on Kali. Uh, before we do that, we have to make sure that our um, external wireless adapter is in master mode. There you can see it is in master mode, WLAN zero. That's the, the name. So sudo Wi-Fi Pumpkin tree, and it brings up the uh, Wi-Fi Pumpkin interface. So we're going to set the SSID to college student Wi-Fi. Um, all the details are going to be the same as what we encoded into the QR encode earlier using Snow Crash. So there's our SSID. And then we have to, uh, we have to set the security parameters. So first we have to set security to true. Then we have to uh, set WPA type, which for us is WPA2. Then we're going to set the algorithm to uh, TKIP, Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. And then finally, we are going to set the password. Uh, in our case, that was password123. Provided the details match what is in the QR code, uh, this shouldn't be an issue. So now that we have all that set, let's quickly just check our access point with AP. We have our B SSID, which won't matter in this case. Our SSID is set, channel 11 interface. It's not running. We have set our security parameters. There they are. And um, so we're happy with all of that. We wanna set the interface for that um, for that access point. In our case, that's WLAN zero. We are then going to set up our proxy. We are going to set proxy captive flask um, captive Flask is a captive portal, so when someone logs into the wireless network, they will be shown, you know, a captive portal where they have to enter in a username and password to, to proceed and get access to the internet. So we're going to set Dark Login True, which is one of the default built-in um, captive portals in Wi-Fi Pumpkin. We're going to set a force redirect on. And with proxies, we can see all the details for uh, the proxy that we have set up. So dark login is the default, but there's also, you know, a Facebook one, a Microsoft one. We press start to start our access point. And there we go. We have our DNS, we have our captive flask, everything running as, uh, as expected. So now we just wait for someone to log on. And here is our Android device. We are going to use a different scanner this time because the Google uh, lens will not work without internet. There's our very snazzy uh, Wi-Fi login poster. There's all the details. So we hit connect. That black is just the, uh, the lock screen. So I enter my passcode. And as you can see, we're connected. We have that little Wi-Fi uh, icon up the top. So we open up Firefox and of course, uh, Wi-Fi Pumpkin forces us into this uh, this captive portal, this uh, default dark captive portal. So we're going to pretend that we have a username and password already set up. So we're going to be Joe Soap and our password is going to be good password. And when we entered that in, those details should be uh, uh, shown in Wi-Fi Pumpkin. So we're going to hit sign in, uh, gives us the option to save it. And it should log in and redirect, but the Wi-Fi is struggling a little bit. We can see the icon up the top. It doesn't really matter. What we care about is what is happening on Wi-Fi Pumpkin. So let's go back to that. So we are back on our Kali box with a Wi-Fi Pumpkin. We can see the service has started there. So our DNS server is running. Our captive flask is uh, waiting for anyone to scan that QR code and connect to the uh, college student Wi-Fi. So when they do, they will be served that captive portal. There we go, there's our DHCP server is run. So we've given them an IP address. So they're going to go now and open up their browser. So this is me opening up Firefox on my Android device. And obviously I'm fumbling away trying to type in a username and password. And at some point, we should, come on, there we go. 
So we can see our login there of Joe Soap, our password of good password, and we can also see the host IP address. I have an IP of 10.0.0.21. So this is uh, an example of uh, Wi-Fi Pumpkin with a, a captive portal. Alternatively, uh, Wi-Fi Pumpkin offers uh, uh, just a, a plain old proxy where you just proxy the traffic through and you can just uh, uh, sniff the traffic um, that way. Or you can integrate Wi-Fi Pumpkin with uh, the B framework and start injecting hook.js into every single uh, uh, web page that, um, that the client requests. So a lot of potential but that can all be for a future video.